My name is Jordan Belfort. At the tender age of 22, I headed to the only place that befit my high-minded ambition. The name of the game? Move the money from your client's pocket into your pocket. But if you can make your client's money at the same time, it's advantageous to everyone, correct? No. In every one of us, there's a part of us that wants everything and wants to be the best and wants to be the richest and wants to be this or that. And hopefully, in, in most people, it's a small percentage. And what I felt when playing Donnie was that, what if there was someone who was all that? Excuse me. Yeah. Is that your car on the lot? Yeah. Is yeah. it Jag? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much money you make? I don't know, 72000 last month. You show me a pay stuff for $72,000 on it, I quit my job right now and I work for you. Hey, listen, I, I quit. Do you see it as a morality story? I just see it as a portrait of these people's lives at this time, and I think why uh, Scorsese's, you know, he's my favorite filmmaker, but one of the reasons for that is that you leave his films discussing them, and you see, oh, I didn't like this, or I did like this, or I don't get why this happened, and that's what a great piece of art should do, it should spark conversation. People know what's right and wrong. Everyone has a moral compass. It's, what's more interesting is seeing other people's moral compasses getting swayed by, by influences, drugs, money, power, women, relationships. You know, it's, it, it's, it's funny to see how, how off track they can get. With this script, I'm gonna teach each and every one of you to be the best. This is the greatest company in the world! I was becoming a legend. Aren't you married? Yeah, but married people can't have friends. We're not gonna be friends. I was making so much money, I didn't know what to do with it. $26,000 for one dinner! Dad, we're not poor anymore. Tell them about the size. What the size. are these sides? They cure cancer? The sides did cure cancer, that's the problem. They were there, that's why they were expensive. No one can create characters on a set the way Marty can. Uh, no, maybe not so much on a set, maybe in the editing suite. I don't know what it is, but, but Marty looks at characters. It's like Marty really wants to know the characters. Like he wants to like, walk around and follow them everywhere. <laughs> you up from the hill. He's got pictures of your whole inner circle. This is bad. It's okay. Rub my temple. You're all right. This right here is the land of opportunity. You just tried to bribe a federal officer. <laughs> <laughs> this is America. The film has been criticized for allegedly glamorizing the mm. lifestyle of these people. Do you see any credence in that criticism or not? No, because I mean, I mean, people are entitled to to their opinion, you know. And I can't speak for Mr. Scorsese, but for me personally, I think if you watch Goodfellas, you know, uh, it looks enticing to be that kind of person. And then you see how they all end up. And at the end of the film, I think a lot of the point of this, from my eyes, was that these guys didn't get punished the way they should have by the American judicial system. And that's kind of a big point of saying. Or do they take it easy on these type of people? And they do, you know? And so uh, for me, I think it's completely a tale of where you end up as a person. Maybe you don't go to jail for 100 years, but are you the kind of person that you'd want to be? Did you get there in a good way? Can you sleep at night? You know, who? I, I think there's a lot of really great uh, messages within that that you have to see for yourself or not see. The show goes on! Descending the National Guard to take me out, cause I ain't going nowhere!